Breaking news, my wonderful Biafran people. And I don't hear what thing happen for Enugu State. On the 30th day in the month of May, in the year of 2023. In case you never hear, you never know. I beg you gather here because I have a very, very uh, this message where they do very important part for all my Biafran brothers, IPOP families worldwide, anywhere where they I beg you make it a gather. That's your broadcaster with a difference and your media man with a swag. I don't land again like, like Land Rover. In fact, I am landing from Cambodia. <laughs> so make you hear this breaking news and uh, what a trigger or the outcome of the Remembrance Day for our fallen heroes and heroines. How Nigerian soldiers attack a pop endlessly, we endless, we no currency, just only the flag of Biafra or the flag, flag of IPOP and the placards. IPOP was attacked by police and soldiers. They killed members while praying in Enugu and abducted others. Biafran group kicks. So my wonderful people, we are going to deliberate on this very issue today. What happens, what regard, and what brought that attack on the Nigerian, uh, uh, sorry, on the Biafran and IPO protesters. Not even they are protesting, you know, they are just there to commemorate. And we call it a, a, a remembrance day for our fallen heroes and the hero news. So the question here is this. Now, does it mean that this current government have uh, already started dealing with the IPOs barely three days in office? This question is left for all Biafrans, both the ones who are sabotaging the movement and the ones who are working for the movement. Because Talking about ordinary man in the Biafra land, they are working for the movement of uh, actualization of Biafra. But the so-called rich ones, the so-called uh, politicians, are the one that is sabotaging the what the struggles of the poor for we to get the independence of the of uh, uh, state of Biafra. But whichever way it is, uh, we are going to do what we are going to keep on uh, uh, working towards the actualization. We are not going to give up. So, my good people of Biafra, my wonderful Nigerian people, my wonderful Africa and the world at large, Namio Mowemo Amanda Nezi, speaking from the platform of Okute Daily Talk, bringing to you this early Friday morning, TGIF. Thank God it is Friday. So, the many men, you don't start on radio, I don't start my own from studio here. So, anywhere where they make you just start your own enjoyment. Oh, I am doing Nigeria who told you, so we cannot just do because Nigeria is not good. We don't go make ourselves happy. We need to be happy because anybody will die and I lose. Uh, this Nigeria, it must surely better one day. If you know better, Biafra must surely better and Biafra must surely get their freedom. That is our prayers on daily basis. So, my dear people, if you never subscribe to my channel, this is the right time for you to do that. In fact, before I forget, make sure you subscribe, share, and like any of my content. Happy new month to you all. My prayers to all my fans, my subscribers, viewers all over the world, my commentators, even the one who speak good and the one who speak bad. I always pray for everybody because to comment bad on someone's uh, 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 video or someone's content, other is you, you have to crack sense. Even uh, cram uh, most of the insult where you go give that person. Sometimes when you even insult person, they ask you the meaning of the insult you give, you cannot be able to cooperate it. So whichever way it is, I pray for all of you in this new month that this month you can try me in the name of 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 Please, if you know the hear my uh, Igbo dialect, uh, you can go for the name of your own local dialect so that uh, our ancestors go also hear me. Uh, you get the point now. So, all that dry money, okay? No, they now for now. Go, 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 try in your ma. All the guinea, get in your other area. I for big of for bondi room and eh, okay. You want to make here, maybe the bondi room and the 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 other So, all that dream, okay. All that dream, okay. Come ma, dream go car for ma. In your ma, carry now to. In your ma, get ready. I can. Big on that day, boy, boy. I'm a real, real. Big on that some money. I can have for the and they were not in Wilanabia, Hana Benu, I am on Azzi, Arababan Nazo, I am on Nero, Hati Benu Nazo, I want a Gary Titi, Hato Gary Benetti, I am a Fenia because I begin, I have been will go. You go, I go where Babylon, what you have already seen, Ophelia won't wear, I have been able and I go with any. In I will go, so I'm a Biafra will go. So you don't know about Ebon or Nana, Ebon Nichi, Bukas and Gigri, Zere, Yau can not go out too much, you because I'm not them. Akoa, a megan, a geru, according to Ibo dialect. 
So make on a do what? Make on a continue to listen to this uh, very, very uh, uh, channel because now here you go hear the latest news. And now here I go tell you all you need to know about this Biafran struggle. My news always come from a better platform. And I cannot do what? I cannot give up because it has been, it's a, it's a duty I've assigned. Just like players go to club and they sign contract, I sign a lifetime contract to be giving news to my Biafran people, to the world, to the Nigerians, and to every news and clearance, clearance of uh, this nation and the world at large. So, Biko, Mwa, make an attack on a seatbelt now. Mwa, we are about to move. Let's go there. Let's go to the reason why we are here. The indigenous people of Biafra, I probably has alleged that some soldiers of the Nigerian army on Monday attacked and killed some of its members while some were abducted, maybe to harvest their organs for sale and the lecturing, according to the news I got here this early uh, Friday morning. I pop made allegation on Thursday, maybe yesterday, in a statement released by its media and publicity secretary, a man powerful. Powerful stated that uh, the IPOP members were praying and holding a candle night service at the MNA area of Enugu in Enugu State on Monday night for the remembrance of our people of the Southeast killed during the Civil War when the Nigerian soldiers allegedly attacked them. Till today, Nigerian soldiers are still attacking their friends and are still killing us. The world is mute. The Nigerian government is mute. The, the, the European Union is mute. The ECOWAS is mute. The United Nations is mute. UK and the US, they are, they are mooted over all these things simply because they have seen us finish that we amount to nothing. After all, they, they, they are the ones that make us to know that uh, Jesus Christ is white, white Satan is uh, black. And yet, they will keep on telling you that uh, they want the best for you, they want your democracy to work. Mao, I beg make on here, make 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 that globally, Biafrans gathered in various continents on the 29th night and 30th of May 2023 to honor our fallen heroes and heroines without harassment. But it was only in Nigeria that our people were attacked, abducted, and killed, according to Imam Powerful. Nigeria's combined military team attacked the peaceful Biafrans, holding a candle night uh, service and offering prayers for the fallen Biafran heroes and the Hironis at MNA Enugu State on the 29th of May 2023 stroke 30. The Biafrans were peaceful and praying when the, gather, uh, when the gathering was uh, invaded by an overzealous Nigerian military. The military shot some of the participants dead and whisked others away, maybe to harvest their organs for sale and lecturing, according to Emma Powerful. IPOP added in the statement that we want the Nigerian government and her security agencies to tell us when it has become a crime to remember and honor the dead. We are reminding the new uh, governor of Enugu State, Dr. Peter Mbang, to shine his eyes so that the Nigerian government, through his political enemies, will not turn the peaceful state of Enugu into a theater of crisis. They have already done that. Done that. If you must know, the news getting to me now is that uh, Peter Mba have announced the cease, permanent cease to sit at home in Enugu State. They have already started working with him. If he refused to do that, then they will let him know that his election or the election that brought him to office was rigged. Peter Mba never won the election in Enugu State. They rigged Labour Party out of the election. I am very sure they are still challenging that case at the tribunal. So, this is the, 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 the areas they always hold our people to ransom. Peter Mba now is under ransom. I tell you people the truth. Enugu State will be like Imo State. Despite the fact that uh, they did not uh, leave the election, normal election result to be announced before they can overturn it. They did it so that uh, people will think that this man won the election. They rig the election the same way they do at the federal level. So, bear it in mind. That what Enugu State is about to witness, my dear, Peter Mba have already started doing it. He have already announced the end to sit at home in Enugu State. Let us keep watch. If he allow the enemies to use him against IPOP, then we will make Enugu tough for him to govern, according to Ima Powerful. He must ask those compromised security agents to release the abducted Biafrans or to take them to court if they have 
uh, committed any crime. More so, they should release the corpse of those they murdered uh, to the families for burial. We shall no longer tolerate the senseless uh, wasting of our lives as we are ants. Uh, okay, as if we are ants. Those who kill by sword shall be killed by sword as well, or they shall die by sword. In the state governor, Dr. Peter Mba, you must stand up now and never allow yourself to be used against IPOP. Those who made IPOP their enemies face the consequences. IPOP is the people, and the people are IPOP, according to Ima Powerful. We remain peaceful and ready to support any responsible governor who openly or covertly shares in our vision and is ready to work for our people, not work for the Sokoto Caliphate and Abuja terrorist government. According to the news written to me from Peter Mba. So, my good people, Radon Yaramu, Radon see waiting play out. In the just concluded Remembrance Day, in the whole world, even in the US, UK, and other parts, even in other African countries, this particular candle night was held, and no single casualty, no single harassment was recorded. I mean, we are, we are, we are talking about in another man's land. Then, in our own land, this one said, is in our own territory, Enugu State, the Biafran land. The Igbos or the Biafran or IPOC does not go to Sokoto or Lagos or anywhere to observe all these things simply because for peace to reign, they made us understand that everybody need to do what? Need to peace up, according to one of my classmates in those days. So, my wonderful people, they're going to see as Nigerian government, they don't sign the agreement already. To make sure that the numbers of uh, uh, Biafrans are being de uh, de decreased. And that is exactly what they are carrying out. Be rest assured that very soon and in this administration, if you are walking on the road, police people will not catch you. They will only just shoot on sight. Without you not doing anything, as long as you are Biafran. That is the agenda they claim. And our people have to do what? Have to shine your uh, their eyes. Otherwise, my dear, what they will see in this incoming administration, it will be, it will be far, far, far worse than what we saw at, at the just concluded uh, uh, um, uh, administration of uh, uh, that uh, so-called uh, Muhammad Buhari. Why are turned down several men in my youth? You are behind all this, uh, um, our youth, we just, well, the only thing they know how to do is just dance our one terror, make nose, make uh, 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 nyash, and the uh, other parts of their body. Make when I come see you, we have a 128-year-old uh, uh, mama, where they here? He the talk say for 123 years, uh, 23 years that the, the papers is not being tampered with, it. and uh, she have just come uh, state the reasons why she turned down several men in her youth. So, if you are there, you are a youth and you are watching me and uh, you are commenting, well, make sure you comment well, very well on this one. Though. If your papers never tampered with, it, please come to the comment section and, and say, I. <laughs> Or say me, I will have it. If you <laughs> if you have been tampered with, you say I. If you are not if you are not been tampered with, you say me. So let us know how many people where they comment on my section or my content. Let me know how many of you now. Where is the tam tam? <laughs> but I get the point now. A hundred and twenty year old Kenyan woman, Teresa Yaraka Jumba, has revealed that she turned down many. Men in her youth because of the culture that forbids to see women with men and allows women to be introduced by her family, but her family never introduced her to anybody. My goodness, goodness me, Teresa, who is still uh, the babies are still intact and never had anything that called intercourse with a man or a woman or an animal, has revealed that she was looking for the right man whom she will share a special connection with him, but never found one. When Teresa was ready to get married, age was no longer on her side, as she claims she was already too old to attract the attention of a man, or to attract the attention of obese. She said she might have had children if she had been a uh, her. You know what I try to say? If her pickles had been do what? Had been mutilated. With a man in her youthful days. Uh, Teresa went ahead though, to say that she is still hopefully to find a male companion at 123 years of age because she is tired of living a lonely and boring life. God have mercy. 
God have mercy. I never had a husband in my entire life. Yes, of course, I'm still, my pickles are still intact. I would think of it during my era, but I won't take myself to any husband. My name is Teresa in Yarakujumba. I have never seen the man or a woman naked before for 123 years. I live with an unfulfilled desire, a deviant hope and courageous spirit of waiting that one day a man will emerge and embrace my soul. Chai, what a painful. Eh? Sorrow, agony and pain. At the moment, you can help me and bring me a man. When I was young, I didn't want to associate with men, and that prevented me from any potential relationship. I never developed love for any man. Now, so we take CMO. So, my wonderful people, the ladies in the house, I want to learn anything, anything where you learn, make you just go to the comment section and let me know what you have learned. Over 30 billion have been budgeted. Now, country where no game on you, make one of here very well. Over 30 billion naira have been budgeted for severance and welcome packages for outgoing and incoming lawmakers and heads. <laughs> country where no game, country where they borrow. And you tell me that uh, these people will, will stop going to Azorok? And you tell me that they stop uh, looking for any offices? They will not. Uh, they will not. Because the packages, even their retirement be benefit, people, even when they are died, when they are dead, their children, children, children are still receiving retirement benefit from Nigeria. But our pensioners keep dying every day with empty stomach. On our way down, Nigeria. The severance and the welcome package to outgoing and incoming members of the National Assembly and their ex, Edo, <laughs> have been paid at over 30 billion in the 2023 Appropriation Act. Nigerians gather that as the Ninth Assembly winds down, the National Assembly management has commenced clearance of members of the Senate and the House of Representatives for payment and collection of severance packages. It was learned that the development was revealed in a notice members at the plenary on Wednesday by the clerk of the house, Yaya Danzaria. The ninth assembly, which was inaugurated on June 11, 2019, is expected to wind down by the first week of June, while the tenth assembly is billed for inauguration on the 13th uh, June 2023. The speaker of the house, Femi Badabia Mela, read out the clerk notice to members on the floor. Danzaria informed all honorable members to collect their clearance forms for the payment of sovereign's gratuity from the office of the clerk uh, to the house and they submit same after completion in annex room two. One uh, room okay room two point one five four or two thousand thirty one. Finance and account directorate on or before Friday, June 9 of twenty twenty three. It was gathered that for the outgoing night assembly, under successive transfers, the National Assembly and its affiliate bodies will spend a total uh, or a whooping sum of $194,839,144,000 and one this financial year. The sum of 169 billion naira was proposed for the federal by cameral uh, legislature and the original bill. Make one day here. Now, country, we don't get money. Details of the National Assembly budget are as follows Severance and inauguration of outgoing and incoming 9th and 10th National Assembly. Legislators and the legislative heads 30 billion, 173 million, 520,592 naira. National Assembly office 30 billion, 492 million, 518,000. 529, 29,000 Naira. Then the Senate, at 3,267,000,000, 1,807 Naira. House of Representatives, 51,994,000, 511,954 Naira. National Assembly Service Commission, 10,553,000,000, 809,322. Make one of the listen very well. Legislative heads, this one is their heads, which is going 
direct into the pocket of those ones we say they are the House of Rep members or the representatives. The heirs are earning, or what I'm going to share is 16 billion 520 million 653,763 naira. Part Senate 118 billion 970 million. Okay, 118 million 970,215. And Part House of Representatives 142 million. 764,258 naira. Others are the National Institute for Legislative and uh, Democratic Studies. 7 million, 7 billion, 418 million, 813,596. Make on the year money. Service wide vote. 671 million, 335,001 naira. Office of the Retired Clerks. And permanent secretaries, one billion fifty-nine million one hundred and twenty-one thousand seven hundred and one naira. Appropriation committee department, Senate, one hundred and twenty-five billion naira. I be no million naira. Appropriation committee department, House, one hundred and sixty-five million naira. National Assembly Library building ongoing, four billion two hundred and fifty. Million naira. Now, so they take this squash twice the money. Later, they will say Nigeria don't have money. And yet, all of them, everybody is fighting in tooth and nail, bribing. Most of them selling their conscience to the devil to make sure that they get to the National Assembly or they get to the Senate House or even local government chairman. Yet, we keep hearing Nigeria is broke. Where is all this money coming from? And where are they going to? What are they being used for? That is the question. That remains silent to our ears till that. Also, in the National Assembly budget is 11 billion, sorry, okay, 11 billion, 307 million, 473,470 naira allocated to general service hosting of conference of speakers of African Parliament, 127 uh, million, 500,000 naira. National Assembly liabilities, eight million, eight billion five hundred million naira. National Assembly e library, two hundred and fifty five million naira. National Assembly dashboard, one hundred and eighteen million one hundred and fifty thousand naira. Constitution review, we give you eight hundred and fifty million naira, close to one billion naira. Completion of National Assembly Library complex repeated seven hundred and okay seven million or billion five hundred million naira. Completion of NRLD S headquarters two billion five hundred million naira and construction of NASC building we worth ten billion naira. Nigerians on our way down. Tenth National Assembly. Turumbu in closed door meetings with Abbas and uh, Benjamin Okalo. President Bolambe Tunumbu on Thursday held a meeting with the preferred candidate of the All Poverty Congress, APC, for the leadership of the 10th House of as Representatives, Tajuden, Abbas, and Benjamin Okalo. The meeting held at the Asarok Villa ahead of the inauguration of the members of the 10th National Assembly, which is scheduled for June. Nigerians reports Abbas and Carlo were endorsed by the leadership of the APC for the for the office of the Speaker and Deputy Speaker of the House of Tenth House, respectively. As at the time of filling this report, the details of the meeting were yet to be made public, but it may be connected with the tussle for the leadership seat. Tunumbu meets. Lawan and the Femi Bajabia Mila. All these ones are secret meetings on how to uh, a siphon or how to bring the country to dust. President Bola Tunumbu also reportedly held a closed door meeting with the President of the Nigerian Senate, Amir Lawan, and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Mila. The meeting held at the Asarok Presidential Villa, Abuja, is coming shortly. After Tunumbu's first security meeting with the service chiefs, including the Inspector General of Police, Osman Alikali Baba. 
Najadu recalled that the inauguration of the members of the 10th National Assembly is scheduled for June 5. And the eventual election of a new Senate President, Deputy Senate President, Speaker and the Deputy Speaker uh, House of uh, Representatives are also have been scheduled as well. Oh, where will they move? Oh. Lebo Party, oh, they have no Lebo Congress have said to begin a nationwide strike on Monday. Short operations. What are they protesting? If they ask them now, what are they protesting? They will tell you that uh, no need to call off uh, fuel, fuel, fuel subsidy. Then I ask, what is wrong with our people? What is really wrong with our people? Are we not, are, have we not suffered enough? Who is bankrolling all these people? Who is turning against the people of Nigeria? The question that needed an answer. Following the lingering dispute with the shipping companies over concerns on poor pay packages and the welfare of employees, the Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria has directed all its workers to shut down all operations of shipping companies and begin an indefinite nationwide strike from Monday. The President General of uh, uh, Maritime Workers uh, uh, Union of Nigeria, Prince Adewale Adeyanji, Adeyanju, at a briefing on Thursday, lamented that since 2018, organized labor has been battling with the shipping companies on the minimum standard for shipping companies on the welfare of workers to no avail. According to him, despite several interventions of the immediate past Minister of Transportation, Mohan Zusambu, the shipping companies, mostly multinationals, had refused to yield, expressing sadness that the working conditions of the workers in the national shipping industry were nothing short of modern day slavery. Now, so it take be. I shall you soon for on a see, remember this woman, this uh, woman rights activist, and also a full blown supporter of uh, Peter Grigley, who be of Labour Party. I saw you too, he don't receive every blow as under 48 hours of Tunumbu's inauguration, they don't report her profile, pay YouTube, and YouTube shut, shut her profile down, according to the news we have here. The YouTube channel of the co-founder of Bring Back Our Girls, movement and the staunch supporter of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Ubi, Aisha Yusuf, has, take, has been taken down. Yusuf on Wednesday made an announcement via Twitter but did not disclose why her channel was removed. YouTube, however, sanitizes its platform on a regular basis and it takes down channels deemed to have violated its operational policies. The activists, the YouTube page was pulled down barely for eight hours after President Bola Tunumbu was sworn in on the 28th, sorry, on May 29th. She wrote, my YouTube channel has been...